cry before, madam? Yes. I'm sure there has. And I'm sure you've made men cry before. Why is that? Because we're sinners. Folks, did you know this? I don't, I don't know you. I know some of you are lovely people. But did you know this? You too are a sinner. And you too have done crimes against the holy God who loves you and yet you've sinned against him. It doesn't matter whether we've done lots of charity. It doesn't matter how religious we are. Every single one of us is a sinner. And every single one of us needs forgiveness. What goes through your mind as I say that? You need forgiveness. You're a sinner before a holy God. And you need the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. You need to know that at the cross, Jesus dealt with your sin. You agree with him, Adam? Praise God. I'm pleased this lady knows. She agrees. But the sad reality is, there is a generation that is passing away that loved God. They built this, this country that we live in. The Bible says, righteousness extols the nation. And righteousness is what this nation was built on at one time. People went to church, they went to Sunday school, they read the Bible, they believed in right or wrong. But now we take God out of the picture, and what's happened to our society? You don't need me to tell you that this society, this world has fallen to pieces. Everyone's confused. No one knows what right and wrong is. No one knows where we come from. No one knows what a man is or what a woman is. A very simple question today is, what is a woman? And people can't answer that question. We've gone to pot with society because we've ran away from the God who made us. Righteousness exalts a nation. And if you turn away from God's righteousness, is it any wonder we've got a nation that's broken? Is it any wonder? Here's a question for you. Again, there's a lady there and she says, I believe what you're saying. An elderly lady, probably in her 80s. She said, I believe what you're saying. Now, if we take that woman and we say, when you were a young girl, when you were a teenager, do you think there are more or less suicides than there are today? I wonder what that lady would say. For anyone who's above 70, do you think there are more or less suicides than when you were a teenager? There's a lot more, isn't there? And why is that? Because if you go into a classroom today, you're told you're just an animal. If you go into a classroom today, you're told you just came from a bit of slime, there's no value, there's no meaning, there's no God who loves you. Just, we just evolved, we're just atoms. And is it any wonder that men and women are crying out saying, is there any meaning, is there any purpose, is there anyone who loves me? I want to tell you, it doesn't matter what the scientist tells you in your classroom, there is a God who loves you. There is a God who made you. There's a God who wants a relationship with you, a friendship. And you may smirk, you may laugh at that, but I'm telling you right now, he wants a friendship with you. And if you think that no one loves you in this life, you can say, no one in this world loves me. Because all you have to do is look at the cross and you'll see someone loved you greatly there. Just look right. at the Son of God into to that cross for your sins. Dying there, bleeding there so you can be forgiven. And friends, you can walk on by, you can ignore me, you can pretend you can't hear me, but one day you will meet your Creator God and you'll say, why did you spend your whole, uh, whole life ignoring me? Why did you spend 80 years? I gave you breath in your lungs, I gave you a good life. I, I gave you food on the table, and yet you ignored me for all of your life. Why is that? Friends, please consider this. Please, see now, there's a man standing in front of you. I don't like standing on this box. I'd rather be with my wife. I'd rather be watching Disney with my, with my children. I'd rather be doing those things, but I'm here today urging you to come to Jesus Christ, because hell awaits, death awaits, and God says, I am not willing that any man should perish, but that all come to repentance. So turn from your sins, turn from your wicked ways, and put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you all, and thank you for those of you who took the time to listen.